But if they want that, let's come out and have a debate on a single payer system. Uh, don't try, try to get get the foot in the door in a way that really uh, does nothing good and, and opens us up to risks. Joining me now is Florida Congressman Alan Grayson. Uh, I am floored by that soundbite right there, uh, Mr. Grayson, because uh, where was Joe Lieberman when they took single payer off the table? He ought to be talking to his buddy Max Bacchus about that, but that, I guess, is another day, another story. Where does this stand right now? As you view it from over on the Senate side, you're on the House side, over on the Senate side, are they just just watering this thing down to the point where it won't be effective at all. What do you think? No, I don't feel that way. What's important to me above all is that we have universal coverage. It looks to me like the Senate bill is going to have universal coverage. The Senate bill is going to still eliminate the ability of insurance companies to cut you off, to cut off your care uh, just because you have a pre-existing condition or they've spent a certain amount of money on you. These are fundamental reforms. The insurance companies are going to still have to pay out 85 percent, not 70 percent of all the money that they receive from their customers, you and me. That's a fundamental reform that I think is very worthwhile. I hope the public option remains in the bill. I hope it's a strong public option, but there's still a lot of worthwhile things that are going to save lives and save money under any incarnation of the Senate bill. So are you saying tonight that uh, you would be okay with a health care bill that did not have a public option? I'd be extremely disappointed. I'm fighting for the public option, yeah. but I want a bill that, uni that provides universal care, comprehensive care, affordable care, no matter how we get there. What do you think about Mr. Coburn, the senator from Oklahoma, who's made some... <laughs> what do you think? Well, look, you know, people have compared me to him, but there's no moral equivalence between telling the truth and telling a lie. I said, I exposed the fact that the Republicans don't have a health care plan, that all they do is they, they complain, they carp about the Democrats' efforts to solve one of the fundamental problems this country is facing. They're the party of no, that's all that they are. So I stand by what I said. I don't know how he can stand by what he said. I think that he's part of a right wing in America that basically consists of two parts. The right wing consists of the liars and the gullible. And do you they generate the lies and the gullible, just so they just soak them up. Yeah. And it's a symbiotic relationship that he's feeding into. And is the Stupak Amendment going to be the final sticking point in all of this to the point where it could actually shut down any kind of reform this year in your opinion no i really really do believe that we are going to see reform this year i'm hoping the senate votes before christmas i'm hoping that we have the final bill before the end of february and i think that that's realistic i don't think anything's going to stand in the way because our needs so great there are so many people dying in america there are so many people who are sick in america simply because of the system we have now it cannot go on any longer no it can't and i i'm sure you saw that story today where etna is telling a half a million customers goodbye because we didn't make enough money last year it's 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 amazing Listen, we have a system we have a system ed where insurance companies make money by denying people People the health care that yep. they need. They do. That's the fundamental problem that we all face. We're trying one last time to fix this system and to make sure that it doesn't kill any more people any longer and that people get affordable care when they need it. Congressman, keep telling it like it is. Appreciate your time. Thanks so much. Thank you, Ed.